Shane, what have you heard about the film festival? What, what do you know about it? What are your expectations? Um, I suppose like sexual obsession. Yeah. Um, that it's quite getting, dark. Yeah, quite dark. Really. Um, and scary and psychological. <laughs> mm. And you guys have sort of touched on the issues in Misfits, you in particular, having to deal with these sexually charged men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a bit, of that. a little bit of lighter done way. A little, then, yeah, 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 not yeah. quite so um, so serious and dark. Misfits always has a bit of a comic edge to it, but yeah, there's a bit of sex going on in Misfits. Yeah, I mean, I think for me it's quite interesting because it's about a man's addiction to porn. Yeah, I mean, how you know, where's the strangest place that I and any of you have watched porn? The most strangest random place you found yourself watching some porn? Um, <laughs> I'll take this one, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't know. But it's, it's not really about him watching. I thought it was more about his urge. We've yet to see the film, but I thought it was about his urges, I suppose deep and dark urges, rather than porn itself. It's about his addiction to sex. And I think about sex and using it as an escape, yeah. I suppose. And I think in this day and age, though, I think it sort of, sort of pornography almost enhances it, it's accessibility to sex. Yeah, you can watch it on the train yeah. and stuff. It's so accessible these days. And it, I think it, I think it definitely changes people's views and how they think about sex and, and how, their yeah. own sex lives. Yeah. And, yeah. and their sexual partners, how they view yeah. them. How it can affect it. And tell me, you guys have watched some new stuff from like, in particular at West Ham, you're coming in Wild. Uh, Wild Bill, yeah, we filmed it last year. It's, I think it's uh, going to be coming out in um, uh, March. Yeah, where I play a little craft dealing rude boy, which is quite different to what most people are expecting of me, which is nice. Yeah, it's good. I really loved doing the film with Dexter and Dexter Fletcher. It was a great, great experience. And the director, it was his directorial debut as well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It was great to get to do it. And um, yeah, it, it was just, um, it was really, you know, very low budget, but we all just got together and like, you know, it was a real team effort. It was brilliant. Tell me guys, what else have you got coming up? Um, I'm doing a play at the moment, which is, Yes, because it's kind of deep and dark and sexual, like a sadist kind of coming in to terrorise these twins. So that, that's fun. It's joyous for the new year. 2012 is all about sex, apparently. Yes, really yes. Well, the end of the world's coming soon. May as well have a bit of sex. <laughs> have some fun before it's over. And I mean, I hear you're working on a, on a new porno. Uh, I'd love to say that I was, but I'm not, unfortunately. No, no, I wouldn't love to say I was. No, I've, I've got a couple of, uh, well, I think... Yeah, a couple of films coming out this year. One called Eight Minutes Idol, which is a comedy set in a Bristol call centre. Um, and one called, actually, it sounds a bit, one called Rear View, but it's, it sounds a bit corny, but it's a psychological thriller um, about a girl whose car breaks down and it all goes a bit wrong. So, very different things, but yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Enjoy the film. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Enjoy. Enjoy.